So this design is a bit of an experiment because I, the way we've mounted it, I popped it into a very long piece. Um, in fact, I asked my upholsterer, Rowan, I'm terrible at doing this, and she did the lovely bi the bias um, binding around the edge and she made that out of velvet and it's all gorgeous. It's the most beautifully made thing. Um, and I, in my mind, I was thinking this would go on the sp in, on a spare bed and you know long pillow looks quite nice on a spare bed or in the center of a sofa so you have two or three pillows on each end and then you have this lovely long one um, in the middle and it looks a bit odd really but it is just showing how they used to make up pieces of needlework that had been taken from um, from monasteries in the reformation and you see metal thread embroideries even embedded in a long pillow in this same way in castles and country houses and in particular at Parham House in um, the south of England. So back to this piece. This is a detail from the Tree of Life design which is my own design and it's just using elements that I'd seen and studied but just really slightly contorted into the shapes that I really like and I designed that when my son was studying art um, and he was living at home on and off as a teenager and he uh, he said something really important that stuck with me for a long time afterwards and to this day which is that the all everything in this design should look as though it's just got there you've taken a picture and it's just about to move off so every branch should look as though it's moving almost so uh, it's just hesitating a split second and you've caught that moment and that's what I really try hard to do because I find some of the crew work I look at looks as though a steamroller has just flattened it on the floor and it's a splat and a lot of mid 20th century crew work is really unfortunate it just looks trodden on in my eyes and I'm sorry if I've ruined it for you now but um, you'll remember that when you see some at an auction you think you know, I can resist that design. I don't really want to do that. And I really don't want to restitch it. And I think that lack of joy in the design really killed cruel work um, for quite a while. Until Erica Wilson really started making kits and doing videos all those years ago in the 60s and 70s. Anyway, this, is, this design has got um, the laden couch work, long and short soft shading, satin stitch, uh, cruel stem, seeding, raised satin stitch, long and short soft shading onto the oak leaves and French knots and you will find that this has all the stitches and a little bit of clothes fly there sorry all the stitches you need to make the larger tree of life piece so this is a really good beginner kit full of challenges and um, you know don't get don't get upset about doing anything wrong you don't you just stitch over the top carry on and make it into something because people who come to your house or your family or just putting it on facebook you'll find that other people are inspired by what you do mm -hmm.